You're listening to the Ecosystem Approach Show. I'm Jason. And I'm Patricia. Tune in every Monday at 1 p.m. Pacific Time and 4 p.m. Eastern Time on Transformation Talk Radio. We discovered that human potential is severely limited when you program humans like a machine, which is standard practice today for self-improvement. The Ecosystem Approach teaches you how to uncover your infinite potential by using natural methods that are truly revolutionary. Join us now for the Ecosystem Approach show. Is it time for a reset? Today, we're going to talk about how you can do a personal reset to help create a reset for the world. This is the Ecosystem Approach Show. I'm Patricia, and I'm here with my husband, Jason. We use an ecosystem approach to you, which is much different than what you are commonly taught. We see human beings as ecosystem, ecosystems that need to be uncovered instead of programmed. Human potential becomes infinite with our ecosystem approach. Everyone can see, or at least I hope everyone can see, that the world needs a reset, Jason. Many people are thinking they need a reset too. Okay, every year people, organizations, governments reset, but it doesn't seem like there's, I don't know, any change. How can we really do a reset? We keep doing the same things over and over again, expecting different results. Well, wait a minute. That's the, 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 the definition of insanity, right? Yes, it is. And if you really want to reset, what we have to do is change the energy. Of course we do. Yes, you know, yes, yes. If you, if, you know, I've heard so many, um, that they started already on TV and whatnot about how to, how to do, um, you know, um, resolutions and, and the diets and, and, and all new of it. habits yes. for the new year yes yes all new, new habits they're all programming in other words yes just just do this this and this they're formulas oh yes, strategies, yes, yes, yes techniques yes. right but what we say is if you really want to reset here it is yes change the energy right and and by the way we actually know how to do that well exactly and we can help our audience do that we do that every week yes if you tune in with us for the ecosystem approach show we do it every week we right sh- we take some part of our life and we show you how to use energy mm-hmm. when it comes to that and we help you um implement that that change okay now it's it's when we say use energy we're talking about doing yoga for a week or meditating you okay. know, those are energetic practices. Yes, they are. But what we do and what Patricia and I do all the time right. is we use energy as a, as a part of our life. I mean, we, we in, incorporate it into everything we do, every choice that we make, every, Absolutely. every objective that we have, exactly. every challenge that we have. Every, every bit of anger that we have. Yes, I mean, um, every uh, issue yeah. that we have, <laughs> yes. it comes out right. and we change the energy. Right. That's, our, right. that's our first it's, it's almost like our, our knee-jerk response now is to it, change it is. the energy. And, and I, I admit, we've been practicing it for 20 years. I admit, Jason, but the bottom line is, is you and I both know, and other people that have been around us, they see the change. Yes. And the change has been for the positive. It's truly amazing. A lot of people, um, um, they can see the, the energy that we have. Right, but yeah. They can't put their. They can't. They, they can't you know, call it. They don't have any vocabulary. Right, for it. right. Well, you know, you're happy people, or you guys are right. are are very well, alive. And or, I love being around you. Or and, you're very youthful. Yes, or, yes, or, that you know. that kind of thing. But you know what, Jason? One of the things that you and I discovered when we started to work with the energy, we realized that you connect with your essence. Yes, and that that was a huge thing, and that of course produced the the uh, show that we did and the knowing that we have that we come in with 80 percent of negative energy we're going to talk about that the a little discovery. bit more. the discovery, discovery show and we're yeah. going to talk about that a little bit in the next segment correct yes yeah um well the discovery is yes the discovery we we have a if you go to our website the ecosystem approach.org there's a whole section on the about section you drop down menu it's about and there's a discovery and it's all, all about the the negative energy that you already have Right. When, when you when you're born, when you come into this world. Right. And um, well, wait a minute, Jason, you don't know me. You can't tell me I have 80 percent of negative energy. I was speaking as if, you know, I was listening to the show. <laughs> but I, the uh, bottom line is, is, yes, that's a generalization, but it is also 
I'm sorry to say it's the truth. We we've seen it to be consistent. No, we don't. It, it, not eighty percent on the dot. Exactly yes, 80, and 80%. sometimes we've seen it be even more. It, it, yes, we've seen a lot of times be yes. even more. Right. Um. So, but here's the thing: when you start to work with energy, okay, you start to work with your feelings. Yes. And you start to then connect with your essence. Oh. Some okay. people call it soul. We call it essence. Right. And your essence is part of your daily life. Your essence, you were designed so that every dis- choice that you make, Correct. whether it's to have have um, a, a short Starbucks or a big, I, I don't know what the different different sizes <laughs> are. You know, she, she always orders for me. When I, you know, she always says, you, you go do it. When we yeah, go to the Starbucks. Exactly. Day, but she, she'll order for it. But to make those little choices or even big choices, you know, um, what's the most important thing for me to do to, today? Or if I'm not feeling, if I'm, if I'm crabby or cranky right. or um, anxious or any of that, right. You know, what do we do? Well, and, and so we get that information from our essence. That's right. That's and right. so, um, you know, and here's the thing, programming detaches us from essence. So mm. it's the root causes cause of all the problems today. So if okay. you, Programming is the root cause of the pandemic. It interferes with fixing the pandemic, racial injustice, climate change, inability to work collectively to solve problems. Right. That all comes down to programming because mm. the reason we're, we're button heads like this is because one part is programmed to, to think a certain way and other parts it's programmed to think a different way. Well, and the other thing is, is that programming doesn't teach us at all how to handle, uh, and we'll just talk about um, well, climate change and the uh, pandemic. It, there's no um, education in there for that at all. What happens is when you're programmed, you, you numb out from yeah. your essence. And your essence, here's the big thing, okay? Your essence has a connection to the collective. It knows that we're all connected. It yeah. knows that we need to preserve the place that we live. Yes, we need to preserve our climate. We need to preserve our earth. Right. We need to to um, it's it just innate. We don't have to we don't have to convince anybody of it. Right. You right. know these climate activists. You know things like this, and they talk about we have to we have to get we have to get smart all of a sudden. Well, they want to program us to believe this, but the, but we see as intuitives that if we st- remove the numbness, right, and stop the programming, yes. Um, then we would just know. Well, we would just know. Programming teaches us to take action to create positive energy. And you and I are saying, oh, we start with changing the energy first, then take action. When we when we change energy first and then take action, then it's like, it's like grease, it's like things happen. But when we program, right. what happens is that I don't, I don't care how, how I feel. I'm right. just going to do it. Well, or I don't care how everybody else feels. I'm just going to do it. Well, the, the best example I can think of offhand okay. is going, doing a workout. Okay. You okay. Know, drive on, drive on. Well, push, I'm, push, go, go, I don't go. Yeah. go. I don't want to work out today. Well, you know, and maybe your body is saying, hey, <laughs> right? I need to rest. I don't need to push myself. Well, because you did the same thing yesterday. I mean, there, that, that's a good example of just push and go, go, go. And that push, go, go, go is machine-like thinking. Yeah. And that machine-like thinking, it doesn't serve us. So, you know, give us some examples, Jason, of, of um, what we've been taught to. Um, uh, we were just talking about this last night. Okay. Um, I was talking uh, I was talking, I was an army story, but she, she <laughs> tolerates that really well. But so uh, <laughs> I was talking about how I was lucky, you know, um, I left the army because my first wife died and I didn't have any other way to care for your daughter. Yeah. So, yeah. so I, I got out, I was after six years, but I probably would have been a lifer if, yeah. if, it, if it wasn't for that. Yeah. But, but I, I got out, but I realized now, now that we, we were talking about this, um, Things like, you know, military, um, you can be a fireman, uh, Police. policeman, there you you know, go. those sure. types of things. Sure. You have to be in shape to do those jobs. Right. But they also beat you up because, oh. you know, every morning we would do PT, it's called physical training. So we, we, we get in a form- formation and, right. um, 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 and then we'd go and work out. Right. And it was, it was based, the workout was based on whoever was leading the, the, the PT at the, at the, moment, at the time. You know? Yeah. Okay. You, you know, you can't raise your hand and say, um, 
I my know. essence says that I, probably, well, <laughs> I, really, I need a little, a little more sleep today. <laughs> you know, if I would have said that, I would have, you know, I would eventually ended up in the brig. Yes, but, exactly. Know, I would exactly. have been laughed, uh, you know, exactly. Laughed, laughed exactly. Out of, that's you know. true. That's and, true. And that's why the military and stuff like that was really hard on you physically, because even though it got you in shape on one hand, it did, it, yes. it didn't allow for rest. It, it right. was, um, 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 it was crazy busy and then then it was easy and it's back right, and forth right. things that weren't really good for the body it didn't let the body respond to the way it is well it basically said you need to be a machine right now yes you do not need to be human exactly so um so uh, jason let's go back to the pandemic for for just a moment um deforestation what what do we what do you mean by that the the, the story of the pandemic in general is that the um the, the deforestation and the extinctions um, are the reason that there's the, the line between diseases of animals and diseases of humans are the, those diseases of animals are crossing They're over crossing over because that barrier is no longer in place. Oh, and that's a big deal. Yeah. It's yeah, a yeah. huge deal. And, and so when we, um, our essence knows innately about ecology and to yeah. take care of itself. Right. But when we program ourselves, we, we get, to competition and greed competition mm, yeah, comes yeah, from, yeah. Um, from programming and it comes from our ego so when we oh, when we deny our essence yes our ego goes out of control sure and comes forward so we we we're motivated by things that um make us feel good make us look better in the world make Correct. us look um right better than the guy next to us all those things sure as opposed to working from our essence where we have this collective knowing that says, Hey, we're all, we're all in this together. We're all, well, we're all it, it, exactly. Connected. So Jason, what are the key points of this segment? The craziness this year is because we chose programming to solve problems. Mm. The negative effects of programming can be traced to all the world's ills and challenges. Okay. Resetting to using essence to solve personal and collective problems is what we needed today. Okay. And the ecosystem approach teaches you how to work from essence instead of programming yourself. It's that simple. In the next segment, we're going to talk about the best thing you can do to start making the change from programming to working with your essence. This is the Ecosystem Approach Show with Jason and Patricia, and you're listening to Transformation Talk Radio. When was the last time you had that feeling that you knew something, but you couldn't explain how you knew it? How powerful would it be for your life and business if you could consciously tap into that magic within you? What if you could remember that there's something supernatural about you? Tune in to Absolute Alignment with Christelle Biga when success feels easy. Every first and third Friday at 1.30 p.m. Pacific, 4.30 Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Imagine starting your week off with a teaching, a clearing, and an activation direct from the God consciousness. If you would like to feel more in charge of your week ahead, then I personally invite you to join me, Tracy L. Clark, for our monthly Soul Sunday non-denominational service at 11 a.m. Eastern Time, online or in person. All donations for this event go to the TLC Initiative Fund to help those in need. Sign up now at TracyLClark.com and let's connect together in the glory realm. Are you your story? Or can you change your story? Can you change what you believe to be true about yourself and your circumstances as part of your healing journey? What if you were to change your expectations? What if you were to invite ease and cooperation into every day and then step back and see what happens? It might just be easier. I'm Megan Edge, and I hope that you'll join me on my new radio show, Playing on the Edge, Radical Change with Ease, with my co-host, Dr. Pat, on Transformation Talk Radio. I look forward to seeing you there. Want to find out more about Megan Edge? Visit her website at meganedge.ca.
You know, marriage is not always easy, but skills that improve communication go a long way. Tune in to the Relationship Rehab Show, recovering happiness in your love with Nancy Landrum and Dr. Pat each month on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Nancy is an author and teacher empowering couples to create and sustain loving marriages. Learn to listen, speak, and handle conflict with respect so your love can flourish. To learn more about Nancy and her work, visit nancylandrum.com. Conscious Confidence Radio, a timeless wisdom with Sarah Main. Tune in each month on Transformation Talk Radio and join Sarah on an adventurous journey to the deeper level of meaning to move beyond today's world of constant change, confusion, and uncertainty beyond the shadow of fear. This hit show explores key concepts such as confidence, values, and attitude in a dynamic way. To learn more about Sarah and her work, visit sarahmain.com. This is the Ecosystem Approach Show with Jason, and I'm Patricia. And in this segment, we're going to talk about the best thing you can do to start making the change from programming to working from your essence. We use an ecosystem approach to you, which is much different than what you are commonly taught. We see human beings as ecosystems that need to be uncovered instead of programmed. Human potential becomes infinite with our ecosystem approach. Jason, what is the best way to start working from your essence? If you take an energy approach to your life, oh. you can start observing energy, changing energy, mm-hmm. and uh, use energy for everything. So in other words, um, everything that you do mm-hmm. is it's what's the energy? What's okay. going on energetically okay. around us? Okay. And then change that. You okay. know, if you're having a meeting at work, um, um, what's the energy? You know, mm. if you're asking your boss for a raise, what's the energy? Exactly, you know? exactly. You know, and, um, and and um, and here here's an irony. Start simple. Um, uh, you know, I don't know that we ever told this this part of our uh, beginning story, but when we started out, Jason discovered that I had the ability to see. And, um, you know, after we made up and I made him po- apologize, I'm bended. I'm just kidding. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> um, what would happen was um, we were. She in, loves that story. I do. <laughs> anyway, we would um, we would uh, go have lunch every day that we could, you know, if it wasn't raining. And of course, it wasn't snowing in downtown San, um, San Francisco. But we would go and have lunch and um, we would, um, you know, sit outside and we, we would observe the people. It's not like there isn't, you know, thousands of people in San Francisco. And um, Jason would say, tell me about that person. Tell me what you see about the energy of that person. Tell me what you see about that person. And, you know, that kind of thing. And I have to say, I was amazed even at myself because I could see um, the energy with, with great clarity. Now I admit when I started using the ecosystem approach, that clarity got even better. Well, and you know, this reminds me of a really good, good point about this. Okay. Is when we did that, we weren't saying, okay, let's figure out what that person had for breakfast. No, we weren't, try- we weren't you know, we, 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 we innately knew at that point is that what's, what energy is that person carrying? Exactly. So if they came to us, how could we help them remove it exactly so they, their exactly. life could be better you know it, it was and, and and it was really really cool now i i do need to say we never um changed anybody anybody's energy that didn't ask us for help we never did that we were just observing which anybody can do it's not well in and you know the, the ethics was, you know the ethics about that exactly you know, you know, it's it's um um if if someone's if someone's in a crowd freaking out, that's affecting everybody else. We that's, would change their energy. In a, that's in a, a little bit different. That yeah. is not the same thing. But these people were going to and from, I'm going to say lunch to the office or office to lunch or to meet friends or shopping or whatever they were doing. The point is we were observing the energy. And most yes. people think that it's the it's our intuition that's the most valuable. Yes. But it's really our ability to um, 
to change that energy. Exactly. And, and it's not that we do it. No. We teach you guys to do it. And, and that's fact, what we're doing. We're doing it in the, in the last segment today. We're going to exactly. do it in the third segment. We're going to teach you how to do the clearing. Exactly. And um, um, so, that, so that you can be the guide of your own life, so that your essence can be the ultimate expert in right. your life to tell you what to do, who to marry, what job to take. Exactly. Uh, or not to marry. Yeah. Or not to marry. Thank you very things. much. Yes. yes. So, you know, Jason, all of our shows talk about all sorts of topics you know, and showing people how to work with the energy in their daily life. This is what we're trying to talk about. This is the point we're trying to get across today. Yes. You know, if, if you have a problem, you know, or a challenge or even an, an objective for your life, you know, that reset thing we were just talking about, you know, if you have a problem today um, and you want to fix it now and in 2021, you know, ask yourself what, Jason, what do you ask yourself? So what's the energy? Yeah. So it, you know, What's the energy that's blocking me? What's the energy that's blocking me? I was just saw something about uh, how to create new habits for the for the new right, year. Right, okay? right, right. That's like that's ten like, easy steps. That's right. like um, um, your fingernails on a chalkboard to me. You know? Yes, it's just like oh, you know, because yeah. to, to f- creating a new habit is a, some form of manipulation, force, trickery, right? Of your personality. What I would say is that um, clear the the things that are blocking you, right. so that your essence could say this is what you should be doing in 2020 or, or consider this Yes. or, or have you thought about that? And if it's coming from your essence, chances are you don't need to make it a habit quote unquote. Yes. It'll just do it. You, it'll not only will you do it naturally, you'll want to do it. You'll be motivated to do it. it. It's pretty, it's pretty cool. the, the, The changes, the changes that, you know, this whole idea that you have to be motivated for anything is yeah. is is a reflection that you're not operating from your essence right but you're programming in and you're coming from ego well and i'm gonna say right now is the time to actually start doing the ecosystem approach exactly it, it, it's it's i i can't even stress enough to everyone the difference that it's made in my life and the difference that i've seen it made made in so many other people's lives it's pretty incredible if, if you're going to change or decide to do a reset the best thing you can do is just commit to doing the ecosystem approach. Listen to our show every week. It's a different exactly. topic, but it's always about using energy as making that central part of your life. Exactly. And you know, but th- there's one other thing. One of the things you need to start clearing today, of course, use the ecosystem approach. And then you start, you need to start um, looking. And what will happen is you will automatically start looking at the things going on in your life. And one of the questions you can ask, just start this today. Is that programming? Or is that, is, is, am I, did I do that from my heart or my essence? essence yes. Yes. And um, so it's, it's. So, so let's review programming. Okay. Programming is when you force yourself to do something. Okay. New habit. Trick yourself. Oh, you know, um, do this, but, you know, um, um, tricking the, a lot of stuff, self-help that says trick yourself, manipulate yourself right. or seduce yourself. In other words, give yourself a treat, a reward. Um, I like the treat part, but yeah. I want to be conscious of why I'm eating a treat as opposed to unconscious. Well, you shouldn't have to treat yourself like a child. If you're working from your essence, exactly. you're, you're, you're fully adult yeah, and yeah. operating in the world in the way that you choose as opposed to your ego. See, when you come from your ego, right? chances are your essence doesn't want to do what your ego wants you to do. <laughs> and yeah. so there's a conflict. Right. So your ego, you said, I'm going to force my way. Right. That's why I'm off on a tangent here, but um, the best among us are not the leaders. Well, and they shouldn't be the leaders. Or... Often the people who are rise to the top are the ones who use their ego to force Gee, their will. Don't get me started themse- on that one. Okay. Upon themselves, but upon everybody else. Okay. So Jason, do me a favor. Um, talk about the metaphor of the oil spell when, and, and I need to say this when, if, if you're listening to the show right now, this is a really good metaphor for your life and everybody else's life around you. Understanding your essence. Yes. So the Exxon Valdez um, had an oil spill 20 years ago, I think. Right. You know, I remember it. If you don't remember it, it's, it's because you're just too young, but I'm <laughs> glad you're listening anyways. Exactly. But, um, we know that when there's an oil spill in an ecosystem, this is off the coast of Alaska, it's really devastating to that ecosystem. So they cleared it up. They cleared it up. They they were cleaning it for months and months. Right. And, um, 
Um, there was a lot actually of even there. years, but yeah, I was just reading. So we used it for an, uh, as an example a while back that even now the ecosystem is not fully returned to itself after twenty years. After twenty years, you find that to be so so so, so amazing. So here's the point: imagine your essence is like an ecosystem, mm -hmm. okay, and that um, the negative energy is like an oil spill. Right. When you program yourself, you're adding in oil to your own essence. And so when people grow up and age, and we're seeing this now with my mom because we're taking care of my mom and getting really um, um, a lot of information about how people age and that right. sort of thing. We are. But as they get older, they don't get better. No, they, they get more crabby and more stubborn and, and angry. And, yes. And, um, difficult to deal with. Yeah. And, you know, all those things. And um, we see it. The best among us should be the oldest among us, because if you've been clearing your ecosystem and ecosystem, well, your, your wise, we your were, wisdom, we, knowledge. Exactly. Insights. But we were trained. I remember um, thinking that um, my grandmother, um, that she knew everything. And the truth is, my grandmother didn't know anything other than what she read in a book. She read constantly. That was her her entertainment. That's what she did. But my point being that there was there was things that she knew, but they weren't practical. They weren't about living in life. The point is, is that that if you if you are constantly working on your ecosystem mm -hmm. and removing the oil as opposed to getting rid of the oil, right? then um, that's the key. And that's what we're trying to say in this whole segment. Right. So Jason, what are the key points of this, um, this show? Approaching this, your, I'm sorry, this you know, segment. Pro approaching your, your life, considering the energy of every situation is life changing. Yes. And programming creates negative energy and is all, and is like adding oil to your oil spill in your ecosystem. Yeah. Um, every life situation, you could perceive the energy that is blocking you and then remove it. Okay. And the ecosystem approach teaches you to live in an energy world, which it is, which it is to perceive and then remove the energies that block you. Right. In the next segment, we're going to talk about the most important question to ask yourself and why it's really a difficult question. This is the Ecosystem Approach Show with Jason and I'm Patricia. You're listening to and actually watching the video for Transformation Talk Radio. Yes. Is traditional medicine not working for you? Do you still feel as if your health isn't 100%? Here at the Holistic Medical Center, Dr. Nushin Darvish and the qualified staff look through the dimensions of wellness and start a healing plan prioritized to your needs. Our physicians assess the whole you until complete health is achieved. Get the help you need by visiting drdarvish.com or call 425-451-0404. We remember a time when you could simply form a thought and it would manifest. The harmony was forgotten, but it is returning now. The Power of Inspiration and Awakening Radio with Julia Griffin on TransformationTalkRadio.com each second and fourth Wednesday at 9 a.m. Pacific will take you on adventures through the heart and spirit exploring who we once were. This intuitive healer studied under the guidance of wolves, learning from their wisdom to master a higher frequency for a new state of mind. Visit OneTrueSelf.com. Are you ready to shift your current beliefs about death from debilitating pain and loss? Follow Angie Corbett Kuiper as she shares that through choice, present moment awareness, and keeping an open mind. Anything is possible, even in death. Tune in to Beyond Proof Radio with Angie, redefining death and loss every first Wednesday at 12 p.m. Pacific on TransformationTalkRadio.com. For more, visit BeyondProof.com. Hi, everyone. I'm the host of Nothing But Now, Mindful Living with Dr. Mary Angela McGuire on Transformation Talk Radio. I share ideas, insights, and tools you can use to release yourself from fearful and negative thinking and live from a place of clarity and confidence. Please join me in each show where we challenge ourselves to change together. Please go to my website, mcguirelifecoach.com. That's mcguirelifecoach.com. See you next time. Did you know that when we talk about the Earth's 
ecosystems, the most important ecosystem has been left out. You, we created the ecosystem approach to recapture human potential. Find us at theecosystemapproach.org. Join us every Monday at 1 p.m. Pacific Time and 4 p.m. Eastern Time for the Ecosystem Approach Show with Jason and Patricia on TransformationTalkRadio.com. If you struggle with fear and anxiety, you know how powerless and stuck these emotions can make you feel. You've tried everything, but nothing helped you overcome these blocks. Dr. Friedman Schaub, award-winning author of The Fear and Anxiety Solution, created a special program which helped thousands of his clients to become healthy, happy, and confident again. Learn how to eliminate negative self-talk, let go of your emotional baggage, and replace limiting beliefs. With Dr. Friedman's accelerated program, you can break through your challenges. Visit thefearandanxietysolution.com. This is the Ecosystem Approach Show with Jason, and I'm Patricia. And in this segment, we're going to talk about the most important question to ask yourself and why it's a really difficult question. We use an ecosystem approach to you, which is much different than what you are commonly taught. We see human beings as ecosystems that need to be uncovered instead of programmed. Human potential becomes infinite with our ecosystem approach. Okay, Jason, what is the most important question you can ask yourself as you live your life? What is that? The most important question, you ready for this? It's what is the best option or path or alternative for me? Okay. Okay. Always make it personal. And when you listen to advice. Wait a minute. You don't mean take it personal. You mean Make, Make it, it personal. personal. Okay. When, you know, and this time of year, there's so much advice, self-help and yeah. do this, yeah, and do that, yeah, and do yeah. that. But it's never about you personally. So that advice True. is only good if it's about you personally. And I guarantee you, the person, the the entity that knows what's the best for you is your essence. There you go. It's not me. Okay. It's not Patricia. Right. It's your essence. Right, right, and right. And we help people a lot of times because sometimes we can we can talk to their essence a little more directly because they've been right. so numbed out and and bombarded with programming that yeah. they're just like, oh, what do I where do I start? Exactly. Where, where which way is up? Yes. You yes, know, yes. but the the truth is is that's where you get that information. Now, here's the caveat. Okay. You have to ask that question using your essence, not your ego. You need to explain that because I think there's a lot of people that don't know the difference. They don't know the difference. Or they don't know that there is a difference. They don't know that there is a difference. Okay. Uh, you know, I've got a, a lot of people, a lot of our clients have come mm-hmm. to me and say, well, how do I know this isn't coming from my ego and this mm-hmm. is coming from my essence? Right. You know? And you, it, the question presumes that it's an either or. Usually uh, there's some sort of proportion of both. But here's the thing, okay? Okay. Your ego is not coming from within. It's coming from understanding who, who you are in the world by at, programming, by programming, okay. what makes you better, what makes you look good, right? Competition, right? It's a very competitive game, gamified yeah. Yeah. approach to the world to say, okay, exactly. Is this going to make me look good, good or better? Is this going to make me look better? Right. Your essence says, okay, what's the best thing for me? Well, and you know, I, I'm going to take that back to when I first started doing the clearing, um, and by the way, it was nothing, not near as good as it is today. But when I first started, I'll be honest, I was coming from a very ego driven place of, I have to get this right. I have to, I have to. And then I realized that was part of the problem. Why I wasn't getting, um, the things that I needed yes. in life. It was part of the problem. So, you know, it, this comes from self-knowledge and, and self-knowledge right. comes from uncovering who you are. Yeah. So all you have to do is start doing the ecosystem approach with us every week. Well, and by, by doing the clearings, you start to uncover who ex- you are. Exactly. And you get these little twinges of insight. Yeah. And those twinges of insight, um, sometimes we don't think they mean anything at all, but in truth, oh, they truly do. You know, I have a, I have, um, it's, 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 I know what he's going to say. That's why I'm <laughs> chuckling. Okay. I have a confession. 
you know, we watch the Hallmark Channel. We do. And I'm confessing for Patricia, her favorite holiday movie is a Hallmark movie, which is the most wonderful time of the year. Right. And this is about- Henry, Henry Winkler is in it. Yeah, and I just yeah, love it's him. A, it's a great yes, movie. Yes. So um, all, Hall, all, not all, most Hallmark love stories are, are basically this, this is the storyline. The plot. Yes. A, a girl um, falls in love with a guy who looks great on paper and everybody, your family loves she her. She thinks she's in love with the guy. And then the, someone else comes up that is so unlike her and she would never, exactly. never like or right. maybe makes her mad or whatever. Right. And they fall in love and then they eventually get together. Right. In this movie, in Patricia's Christmas movie. Right, exactly. You know, she's about to marry this guy who's great on paper. He's wealthy. He's right. well connected. He right. comes from a good family. And then her uncle, who's Henry Rink Winkler, right. brings this guy home who he found sleeping in the airport right? because the, the airport was socked in because of snow. And um, she thought he was a bum. You know, he'd been all over the world. He'd done all these things. Right. You know, he, he did a little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little bit of He this, did have some you know. life experience, right. that's for sure. You know, yes, and exactly. she just didn't get him at all. But then she found that he really had heart. Yes. And, and, and what she had been looking for all along. Yes. But I have to say, it was the uncle, Henry Winkler, that pointed it out to her. Yes. And so for all of you who watch the Hallmark Channel and other mm -hmm. um, sappy movies like that, <laughs> you know, it's you don't just all of a sudden realize no. that you're, you're operating from your ego and that this is what your heart wants. Exactly. It doesn't work that way. And, if, and even if you do realize it in a moment, right? Um, tomorrow, the next week, the next month, It'll go away. Yeah, that's and, true. And the way to do that on a regular basis to know where you, what you're coming from, your ego coming from your essence, right, is to do the ecosystem approach like we do. Make exactly. It part of your life. If if there's if you're going to do a reset, the best thing you can do is make the ecosystem approach part of your life and start clearing. It, you don't have to do it perfectly. You don't have to do it um, right. Um, um, like a machine, right? Just start. Start with us today, exactly. And just say, I'm gonna, I'm gonna listen next week at the same time, exactly. And and keep doing. Well, these. and if you can't listen, you can definitely go to our website, and um, it's which, always recorded. It's always recorded. You can go you to can... our, our Facebook page. You can see us. If you want to look, you want to see how we look <laughs> in person, right? Go to our Facebook page because we're doing this Facebook Live. We haven't really said that, have we? I don't think we have. We're doing this Facebook Live, and if you go to our Facebook page which is the ecosystem approach.org on facebook right you can see us um see the video right but if you like to listen i i'm i'm a listener i'd rather listen to things um so i can do two things at once like i'm walking or running or what you know whatever so um um you can do the audio still yes but, you can but if you if you want to see us like this this is how we really right. look you right. know <laughs> so um well you know what she's she's the she's the attractive one just so you uh -huh. know uh, just but um um I'm, she keeps me around anyway. So, um, for good re reason, by the way, re remember um, when you personalize your life and say, what's the best choice yes, for me? Yes. It directs you to your essence and then don't listen to conventional wisdom because the guy you're supposed to marry, the job you're supposed to take, right. The, the major you're supposed to have in college, um, whether you go to college or not. Well, you're, I mean, your dad wanted you to be an accountant. Oh my gosh. You know, I, I got his, I, you know, uh, uh, he, no, I would have, he's would've. amazing with numbers, but I have to tell I you would, I, that, no. that, that wouldn't have worked for me, but no. I, I still made major in business and I still love certain aspects. Well, of business. and you've even done some, some, um, we've done some shows, shows about business. About so we're business. Gonna do some more about yes, that. Exactly. Um, but, the, exactly. but it's going to be about the energy of business. Right. Right. And right using, right. you know, from what, what I see as an intuitive, and how that works. So Okay. So Jason, what are the key points of this segment? The best question you can ask yourself is what is the best option for me? Yes. Then ask the question uh, and be careful not to allow your ego to answer. Right. Um, uncovering yourself using the ecosystem approach is the way to distinguish between your ego and essence. Ooh, nice. It, yes. It's a process that takes a while. Yes. And the ecosystem approach teaches you to connect and access your essence in your daily life. I love it. I love it. So Jason, let's talk about um, how to, for those of the, the audience that don't know how to do the clearing, uh, do the ecosystem approach. And, um, and uh, then in the next segment, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll do, do some clearing. We'll do some clearing. So um, go ahead. So get started. You don't have to be reverent. You don't have to sit, you know, you can slouch, you can, mm -hmm. you can lay down, you can stand up. 
you can um, you can actually do exercises while you're clearing. I we do we do all a, the time. We do a clearing all the time. Right. So the posture really isn't important. But um, um, when we say and to eliminate in your mind's eye, in your imagination, gather that up to eliminate and blow it into. We say a trash can. You can use imaginary trash can. You can use your actual trash can. Right. But what we're really doing is having you put it in that thing, which is Patricia painted. It's called the processor. It's called the processor. And what it does, it takes, it processes negative energy and creates neutral energy. Which is, so by the, the way, the, that and that is one of the most important things you or anybody else can do, not only for yourself, but for the entire uh, environment and it's like clearing world. your oil spill in your it's, ecosystem it, exactly so it goes in the top and it comes out the front there the little spout there right in the front so. and if you want a really good picture of it go to our website yep the ecosystem mm-hmm. and you can go to there's a picture um and you can you can download it and exactly it and exactly it on your desk if you want uh, and I, I have to say i i gave one to a um a young man he's definitely well he's grown up and he's in college um, I gave him a picture more than 10 years ago and he still uses it. Yeah. And I just, that just amazes me. Um, so then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to activate life force energy. We're going to uh, most powerful energy in the world. We're going to have it come in through the top of our head. We're going to let it go all the way down our body and our arms clear down to the tips of our toes. We're going to stop it right there. We're going to turn it around. This is all in your mind's eye. And we're going to use that positive energy life force energy to remove more negative energy. Um, Anything else, Jason? I think we're good. All right. Stay tuned. When we come back, we're going to help you create your own reset and do some clearing for the world to do what? Reset. Stay tuned. This is the Ecosystem Approach Show with Jason and Patricia, and you're listening to Transformation Talk Radio. I'm Trish Laub from A Cup of Comfort, where we talk about care hero topics that nobody wants to talk about. Here's your care hero tip of the day. As a child, I took dance lessons. I would twirl through the grocery store, leap from aisle to aisle, and dance anywhere I could. One day, while giving my parents their medications, I realized that dance was my medicine. And when I took my medicine, I was more patient and focused, and my emotional and spiritual tank was filled with more of everything I needed to be a better caregiver and daughter to my parents. I realized that self-care was not selfish, but rather self-love, and that it was essential to my ability to be resilient and to recharge and thrive instead of merely survive. So now when I need to recharge, I turn up the volume and dance it off. What's your medicine? Tune into my show to learn more. See you the second and fourth Tuesday at 12 Pacific, 3 Eastern, here on Transformation Talk Radio. Feel free to reach out to me at info at trishlaub.com. Do you need a makeover on your finances? Do you have more month at the end of your money? Do you wonder where all your money goes? Donette Palmore has been helping people since 2015 gain control of money so they can live out their purpose. If you need help or know someone that does, go to ProverbsFinancialCoaching.com to book your free 30-minute consultation. Stuck in a roundabout of dysfunction? Learn how to speak your truth to power with host Dr. Kathy O'Bear. Create real change with smart tools and smart strategies. No frills, no fluff, just life-changing conversations to help get you where you want to be. Extend your reach and become an agent for real change with Kathy O'Bear. For more information on Kathy and her work, please visit drkathyobear.com. That's drkathyobear.com. Juggling life's relentless demands can leave us unbalanced and restless. Do you feel stuck in the overwhelm? Diane McClay is a personal empowerment coach, author, and compassionate storyteller on a mission to boost you into balance and help you move forward with passion and purpose. Get unstuck with Diane on The Diane McClay Show every second and fourth Friday at 1.30 p.m. Pacific on TransformationTalkRadio.com. For more information about Diane, visit DianeMcClay.com. 
Are you ready to branch out? Take a leap of faith. Tune in to Get Rooted Radio with Erica Gifford Mills on TransformationTalkRadio.com to equip, empower, and enlighten yourself. Erica will energize and excite you to power up your passionate dream that sets your soul on fire. So, Get fearlessly ready and get powerfully rooted in your yes to live it up, love it up, and let it go. Visit GetRootedRadio.com. This is the Ecosystem Approach Show with Jason, and I'm Patricia. And in this segment, we're going to help you create your own reset and do some clearing for the world to reset as well. Jason, rock and roll. Here we go. Here we go. I direct all my resources in all dimensions to eliminate the veils and illusions so I can see that that a real reset comes from using energy. Take a breath. Nice and easy. Gather up those veils and illusions. And throw it in the... Trash can of the processor processor behind me. And to eliminate the barrier so I can use this energy by clearing and uncovering myself. Take a breath. And throw it in the processor. And to eliminate the anger, hate, rage, and bitterness that keeps me from my own reset. That's a big deal, everyone. Take a breath and pull that negative energy up from the tips of your toes and blow it out. And to eliminate my fear of trusting that I can use energy to create change for Mm -hmm. myself, my circumstances, and my world. Take a breath. And to eliminate the barrier so I can see that strategies and techniques do not change the energy enough but the ecosystem approach does take a breath and to eliminate the barrier so i can see that i can reset by changing the energy of my own issues Mm. challenges oh that's wonderful take a breath remove those barriers into the processor and to eliminate the false belief that generic strategy strategies will work for me when the truth is not near as well as the ecosystem approach. Take a breath. Okay. Now we're going to do a little bit of clearing for the world to help the world reset. So that. in this, the way you picture it is imagine you're a big hand going around the world and like a globe. And then at the end, there's a dumpster, a great big dumpster that we can throw everybody's that, garbage top. in. Yes. That, that's the top at the, of the eco of the processor there. So exactly. Here we go. Exactly. And to eliminate the addiction that the world has um, to programming versus working from essence using energy. Nice and easy all the way around the world. And drop it in the trash can or the process of the dumpster. That's on top of the pr- process. That's yes. on. Yes, absolutely. And to eliminate the stubbornness and ego that keeps us from seeing the need to change um, by using our essence. And that's how it's done. Individually or in- collectively. Exactly. Take a breath. And into the dumpster. President like Biden is like, we need to, you know, find the soul. We need to restore the soul yes. of the United yes. States. Yes. Well, you know, I agree with them, except that, that nobody really knows how what to it do is. That. Exactly. They, they just think that's a nice thing to say. We do. We do. That's right. And if you really want to restore the soul of the United States by starting first with yourself. Absolutely. Here's the way to do it. Okay. And so then, and to eliminate, and this is for the world and to eliminate the fear that any change will hurt me and the world when the world is crying for change starting right now take a breath go all the way around the world drop it in that dumpster so let's activate life force Here okay we go. and to activate life force so i can have hope for a good reset by using energy and accessing my essence yes simple take, simple nice and easy pull it in through the top of your head all the way to the tips of your toes turn it around and Throw out any negative energy left over. Throw it in the processor or garbage can. (sighs) And to activate life force so I can trust that I can work on the energy of my life and slowly change from programming and be able to deal with all of it. 
the change and the old programming. Oh, nice and easy through the top of your head. And now blow out any negative energy. Jason? Um, and to activate life force so I can have the determination to make energy and essence the center of my life experience. Oh, it's amazing. Take a breath. And one of my favorites. And to activate life force so I can be happy and healthy and have clarity, awareness, and objectivity, creativity, happiness, hope, fun, laughter, joy, and the ability, and the ability to know that if I do the ecosystem approach every day, at least once a day, I can change my life. Nice and easy through the top of your head. Pull all of that in, Let feel it all. It's a really good thing. And now blow out any negative energy. Jason, what are we gonna talk about next week? We're gonna talk about predicting the future. Wait. I was, I was going to be a smart guy. Okay. So spoiler alert, we're going to tell you right now, we don't ever do that because right. it can't be done. Right. But when we've, you know, of the 20 years that we've talked about being intuitive, we use different names to describe ourselves. Mm -hmm. People automatically think of people that work with energy or have this, this ability to use intuition in a high, high degree right. that they predict the future you know, the psychics True. and the True. crystal balls and all True. that. True. So we're going to talk about that with some unique and valuable insight. Okay. Because it's not that you can't predict anything. Um, and we'll get to the, some of the, the philosophical things like, do human beings have a destiny? Ah, you okay. Know, are you born okay. to have a destiny? Are you going to fulfill that destiny? And you know, can someone like us see that, what that is? And can you, by the way, that's a huge question that people ask me all the time. And is it, you know, can you create your own future? Right, right, right. You know, right, right. and this is, we're going to talk about this. It'll be really fascinating. I think you'll really enjoy this, this show. I, I know I will definitely enjoy it. So Jason, why is the ecosystem approach so important to me personally? If, if you want to do a reset, if you, if we touched you today in some way, mm -hmm. if you said, oh my gosh, what they're talking about, I get that ego right. versus essence, you know, I want to work for my essence. Everybody that, um, that we've worked with, a lot of people that we've worked with have come to us and we say, do you, you know, do you want to work for your essence? They say, of course I do. Well, but they also, um, but no one knows how to do it. No, they, and, they, and they we've don't. been trained. We don't, you don't realize it. We're still realizing it after 20 years of doing this. We're still dealing with the programming yes. of, 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 of we're trying all to, of that. We're trying to, um, take off the old effects of the programming that have hurt Ex us. Exactly, and, exactly. And, and seeing, okay, well, we've been programmed to believe this, but that's not what our essence is saying. So exactly. how do we get rid of it? Well, exactly. it's an energy, right? so we remove it. Well, and, and, and you know, I, I remember, I, I just have to say this, I remember a client said to me not very long ago, and this person has been working with me for a good, uh, I'm going to say close to 15 years. The person said, you know, that little voice in my head or that voice in my head that was always there, I always thought it was because I was crazy. And so I didn't listen. And then when I started listening, I realized that this voice really had something amazing to say. And, and of course, we want to say this, this is not black and white. No, But if you want to know um, when to listen to that little voice... Yeah. What do you do? Well, you listen to our show every week. Right. This is how you do it. Right, it, right, it's right. It's not that simple. It's a, it's um, we don't do formulas, but we try and make it as simple as possible. You know, listen to our show every week. Okay. Um, it's recorded, so if you can't make it, that you know, at one o'clock, sure. you can always you know listen to it later. Right. Um, go to our website, theecosystemapproach.org, mm -hmm. and sign up for our weekly newsletter, which is also a clearing list. A lot of people t say that take that clearing list, put it on their phone. And they love it. They do the clearings over and over. Do it as much as you can. It's cumulative. The more right. you clear, the more, more you uh, uncover. Correct. And um, you can make it a part of your life. It's that simple. Right. And... Um, um, soon we're going to bring a subscription service where, where people can have access to, to us um, on a weekly basis, question and answer. Right. But it's going to be very, very reasonable. And that's coming soon. Right. But um, we'll let you know. But get on our, uh, get on our mailing list. Get on our, we never sell, you know, it's, no, we, we don't spam you. We we'll yeah. only, only do it once a week. Exactly. And, um, and 
in the newsletter, I always tell the backstory of it. Sometimes often I, he tells secrets about Patricia. I love to tell secrets about Patricia. I don't know what that is. <laughs> it's, 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 I'm, I'm, my essence right. or my ego. Yeah, you know? yeah, well, it could be a little bit of both. Jason, tell him about. Um, if you um, want to see us Facebook Live, yes, go to our Facebook page, theecosystemapproach.org. Right. And um, if you want to connect with us, you can send us an email at hello at theecosystemapproach.org. When you're on our Facebook page, like us, we appreciate that. Let us right. know how, how you're doing. And, you know, suggestions, ask us questions. We would love to talk to, um, talk to you. We truly would like, and we'd love to know what you think. If you want to have a topic that... Mm-hmm. that you want to know about how to work with it in terms of energy just let us know exactly so um and we got do we say everything all right here we go um we'll connect next week monday at 1 p.m pacific and 4 p.m eastern time this is transformation talk radio you're listening to the ecosystem approach show with jason and patricia remember your ecosystem is the most important one in the world Thank you for listening to the Ecosystem Approach Show with Jason and Patricia. I'm Patricia. Tune in every week as we discuss practical ways to apply the Ecosystem Approach and develop your potential to live your life on your terms. For more information, visit our website at theecosystemapproach.org. Views expressed on this program are those of the host, guests, and callers, and do not necessarily reflect the views of the station, its management, or advertisers. You're listening to Transformation Talk Radio.